Yeah, I, I definitely think we will be will be better this week. Um, you know, I think uh, you know a guy like 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 example Faf, uh, small things that that, that he will he will definitely change. I think that I thought the first two um, you know kicks after after you know us scoring points or after us actually getting points, uh, we, we maybe could have exited a little bit better in terms of maybe getting into their half and not giving them a, a proper platform to attack from in our own half. Uh, small things like that. And again, we will be better in the next game. Can you go back to the first clip, Jonathan, the, uh, of the kicking? If it's an attacking kick and you've got them on the rack and you've got them turning and you isolate the guy at the back, that very first kick that he gave when we trapped them in the 22, yeah. I love that because that is how you isolate players. It looks like you're going to play, he is coming blind and then he turns them. My problem is if you just kick for the sake of kicking and you, you make it a 50-50. I've got a problem with that. A 50-50 for me is not a good gamble. Yeah. A 60-40 is a good gamble. So. We've got to draw this line between attacking kicks and effective kicks and just for the kicking for the sake of kicking. Uh, why aren't you playing off 10 more? Sorry? That's, uh, Owen, we discussed it yesterday, I remember. That's my big concern. You know, it is so nice if you can play off your 10 into the wider channels and you spread their forwards and there's different spaces that open up if you play off 10. But it's a, it's a safety thing. Because if you play off nine with runners, it's direct, it's flat, you can play the blind off. And as soon as you go to ten, it's a long pass. It's, a, it's more space that comes to it, and they've got a rush defense as well. Yeah. Because what does a rush defense want? Teams to play off ten passing. and to Absolutely. play behind the game yeah. line. Right. So that's why the guys go the safe route, just take it up off nine, take it up off nine. Uh, and that for me is a big concern. So you're saying to me with a different defensive system where it's not really rushed, you can gamble off ten? Def yes, def yeah. future things like if there's advantage, play off 10, have a go. You know, and that happens often, advantage. So, so have a go. And then the other thing is, if it's not, look, we counter-attack well. Yeah. Look in the World Cup, those two tries. That's where Colby and Vili LaRue and these, and, and uh, they come into their own mo uh, fold, yeah. uh, great with counter-attack. But I want more of that. I want sometimes it look like Faf is going to hit the, he's going to hit the, 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 the box key. Let's play it because those wingers, if you go and see, they cheat. They fall, not cheat, but they run back to go and yeah. cover. So they give you that space, but we're, not, we, we, we're too conservative to use that space, and that's my concern. We should get this game at the highest level, at the highest level, to still play more running rugby when it's on. So is, is, is that a plan make going following on the plan? Not scanning what, what's available in front of him? What Swayze is saying now? No, I don't, I don't think so. I think, uh, you know, the whole thing with, with the Springboks, remember, we come from different unions, different setups, different team the DNA, different ways of playing. We're playing against... That can't be an excuse. No, no, no. Okay. But, but, but remember, we've, like you mentioned it, we've had so many challenges coming into this, into this test. You know, so uh, for, for me, we've seen that the Spinocks do have the option of, of playing off 10, where they play, play off 10 and they play out, out the back, going out wide again. However, they only do that on certain areas of, of, of the field. For, so so the, we will never see the Springboks coming out, out, out the sheds and playing off 10 f from, from the go. We want to soften them up, get the space, suck the defenders in, and then go out wide. Now, sometimes when, when, if the defense is good and they've got the ability to smash you behind the game line, then you getting to you know, your kick or, your, or your, your next phase of 10 is very difficult because the defense has done their job. So there is uh, understanding also in terms of which, uh, which position on the field you are. So, so that's, that's, that's the, the, the final detail that, that the boys will probably get or want to get to. So, so roughly, I mean, there's the pitch, my 22 or their half. Where would you use your 10? The set of the game, boss. So in, a, in the rugby field, my half, opposition half, my 22, my 10 meter, where would you use the 10. Where would the box use the 10? So, on so, so anything for me, I mean, if, if, if I was attacking coach, I would probably use my, you're playing off 10, let's say uh, 5 meters out, outside the 22, the defense a little bit tighter, so uh, I don't know where would you, you oh. use your force to play off 10? <laughs> That's a good, good question. There's a little things that come in. The key is variation. I'll give you a scenario. We take it wide to the edge. Yep. We take it to the edge and, and now suddenly there's space on the blind with 9. You go flat and hard on the blind with 9. Mm. But if you suck them across and there's heavy tight forwards in front of you and you play behind your back, back to your 10, it's a perfect mismatch. Mismatch is still with the rush defense. Still with the rush yeah, defense. Okay. You can, guys, you know what? Who's the kicking teams in the world? The box kicking teams? Wales? England? South Africa? And the four of them played in the... New Zealand? Yeah, New Zealand yeah. varied much more. 
But if you look at France and you look at England is, as well, they kick a lot, but they vary it much more. But who's the world champs? Us. Yeah, because what, 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 what happens, this, to answer your question, Owen, the team that kicks and that applies pressure win most of the games. Yeah. The outcome on the stats show it. Yeah. If Fafi gives 19 box kicks and we win 14 outcomes of the 19, what will we do? Yeah. We'll box kick more. Where when we run it, we'll score maybe one or two yeah. tries and, and get trapped behind the game line. So I go that route. And, but that's my concern. Ab absolutely. And, and, and then also just to, to add on to what you're saying, Choice, if we get good momentum into the edges, you know, our forwards running onto the ball is at our most dangerous. Because we've got momentum, you know, then the option is there. But then it's got to be, it's got to be like a, a like like a, a a wave coming. So you can't have running off nine, wait static, and then passing deep, and then playing deep again. So you want like a a, 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 a river that's flowing. So going off nine, then going off ten, and and, and everything has got a a flow and, and not a, a stop start situation. Otherwise, the defense will be will be in charge. Yeah, yeah. You know, you're 100 percent right. For me, the big thing is, and I said it earlier. It's, if you want to play off 10, it's about variation. Absolutely. It's all about variation and f finding different spaces. Well, this is this is now, our 10 at you, the moment. If you've got a 10 like Anra, Pollard, I will yeah. run much more. I will run, and I'll, we beat the All Blacks down in, 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 in Wellington with him running from 10 a lot. So yeah. what I'm saying is, he can show and go like no one. That's his thing. He loves taking it. He loves to counter. You see, he covers at the back. Him and Willie covers at the back. So. I will run a lot of him like they tried there, mm. because that's where he's so dangerous. Remember what happened in the World Cup? Oh, he was, he was good with that. You, you